Okay, my name is uh, Justin Price Spit John in the Central. I'm from the Philippines, came to Canada when I was eight. Um, I started cutting hair when I turned 12. Right now? Let's say, let's track back to like grade nine. Um, at the time I was cutting like a lot of my high school friends here. And um, most of my friends that I cut were like friends that I met through uh, basketball. Cause I would like just come up to my teammates and be like, yo, like what are you doing, right? Like after the game. And they'd be like, oh, I don't know, just going home. So then I would just ask them a question like, let me cut your hair for free. <laughs> if you're down and then they'd just be like, uh, sure, why not? And, you know, instead of like paying like 15 bucks for a cut, they'd rather just get one for free, I guess, at the time. For them to come to me was like an investment from them, you know what I mean? Because then like, that was 2013, right? Now we're at 2019, so like, that's a six year difference. They've invested that much time in me to like, bring me where I am now. We were living in our first home, which was a basement suite. And that basement suite was uh, when I started cutting hair, I guess. And my first ever client was my dad. So was my brother too. But my brother never trusted me with his hair till like, <laughs> till like maybe two years after. And that basement suite, we lived in for five years before we moved into our single attached home. Like, in terms of um, community-wise, Surrey is like not the best, but I love Surrey, man. Like, this was my first ever like immigrated uh, city. So like, growing up here is a blessing. Being in Canada in general, like being in the Western side of the world is like, is a pure blessing, bro. Like, you have clean water, clean air. Like, what more could you ask for? You could wake up and like, nothing's wrong. You could walk in the streets and like, you know, maybe here and there, there will be like something wrong, but like for the most part, it's, uh, it's a decent community and uh, I'm happy to be a part of it. I have a wonderful team and like every day I, I look forward to going to work because of the people I work with. Like these guys bring out nothing but positive energy out of um, their soul. Like that's, that's all that they spread. So you have an opportunity with us. It's like a Shark Tank uh, pitch every time like we cut somebody's hair. Cause like that's an opportunity, right? Like every person is, is like their own individual and like their own mind and intellect. So like that's how we look at it. Why clothes in on the page for shop? The whole story behind this barber shop, this one right here, is um is a story between me and my best friend. My best friend's name is LaSalle. He's one of my best friends and um, he's a barber as well. I met his older cousin and then he pretty much like talked to us and said like, yeah, uh, like we, we know that you two are like very passionate about cutting hair. We see that you have an opportunity here and the opportunity is for us to open a barber shop for you, for you two. We got the opportunity to open a shop. So now the next step is what to name the shop. Yeah, we were like, yo, let's, uh, let's get a spot like in Guilford right in front of the cage basketball court. And um, like fortunate enough the opportunity like to be located right in front of the the basketball court came about and um yeah i named the shop with the saw through the basketball court which is liquid look located right in front some people don't work some people work some people love the, what they do some people hate what they do but like 
no matter what, like the best thing about like my job is like all that doesn't matter. Like they sit in my chair and I have them for 45 minutes to an hour. And like in that time, I get to like, I get to talk to them and like make, make it like the best experience possible for them. But at the end of the day, like I'm doing this, like not just for myself, but like all in all as like a community and like above all else, this is for my parents because, because of them, I'm here.